who has really been signalled as another star for the future, wearing that black armband in memory of Queen Elizabeth II. And he's underway then for Great Britain. Leo Hayter leaving nothing to chance with that ceramic chain on the bike, trying to stay as aero as he possibly can. Well, he's got good cadence and he's in a pretty big gear, so that indicates that he's moving pretty fast. Really using every inch of the road as well. That pedalling action has got to be absolutely perfect. Look at that. He's 23.41 seconds ahead of the Danish rider, who kind of looks at the time in disbelief. Fantastic ride from Leo Hayter. He has ridden a superb time trial this afternoon. He's lost time on the run-in, but he still goes top of the leaderboard. 49.9 kilometers an hour. Hayter goes into the hot seat. This rider was fourth last year. Can he now produce the performance in the same way that Tobias Foss did yesterday? Soren Valenschold underway. Let's see whether he is able to produce a similar result. It would be incredible if Norway take the two men's time trial titles. He's looking good so far, isn't he? Look at that power transfer, the speed that he's managing to find. He looks strong and powerful. Completely different rider to Leo Hayter. Clicking his way through the gears. It's going to be an interesting moment now where we find out how this rider is comparing to the current leader. Look at Leo Hayter. Little smile on the face. A wry smile as he realises that the favourite for this title is 6.19 seconds down. He's the favourite for today. Oh, that Very was close. close. Had to think for the last minute, didn't he? he? Yeah, he just needed to shift his body weight a little bit. He's found a huge amount of time, Rochelle, on that second loop. Here he comes, the big Norwegian, the favourite for today's race. Is this going to be another medal for Norway? Is it going to be gold? Now it's Soren Varenschold who makes his way across the line and goes into the hot seat. 24 seconds is the beating of Leo Hayter. This is Logan Curry from New Zealand, the Oceania time trial champion at under 23 level. Underway for Logan Curry. This is Alex Siegert, one of the top three race favourites for today. European champion of the time trial. A big moment for him. Off the start ramp, the penultimate rider to take the start of today's time trial. We're going to keep an eye on uh, the rider from New Zealand, Logan Curry. Certainly looks quick, he looks powerful. Seems to be able to pedal over a very high gear. Oh. Look at this, what a time. Alex Seeger has just gone quicker by just over a second. Seeger is looking good. Logan Curry outside the time of Saren Varenschold, but has he got a medal? Logan Curry, as he reaches the finish here in Wollongong, in that stealth kit, he is third fastest time at the moment, and he has to wait for the arrival of the Belgian. Alex Seeger heading now towards the split, intermediate two, and it's gonna go past. Suddenly it goes back in the favor of the Norwegian, second fastest time. Yeah, he's happy to see that, isn't he? Look at the time now, 10 seconds. He needs to get to the finish line. It's clocking its way down. He's got 300 meters to go, but it goes red. The world title goes to Norway. Again for day two, Soren Varenschold will be the world champion. Alex Seegard, what's it gonna be? It's gonna be silver. The Belgian rider finishes second, but two days and two Norwegian gold medals. The favorite for the race, Soren Varenschold takes the victory 24 years after Torhushov. Soren Varenschold wins the world title for Norway to add another rainbow jersey to their collection.